Hi Gemini, here is a general look at your solar chart for March 2014 and I'm going to do it a little bit differently uh, this month. I'm going to give you a few minutes of the nutshell version and then I'll go on into the more detailed version but um, it won't be as detailed as the version for the article uh, in the article written up uh, for this month on my website dianagarland.com if you want to know which parts of your sign, which dates of birth in your sign are being most affected by certain transits, then you can find uh, that there as well. So uh, the nutshell version this month is, uh, you've got quite a lot of uh, practical stuff coming at you at the moment, haven't you, Gemini? And um, aims and ambitions in March are highlighted and you should uh, cast your mental nets wider to source the information you need or just take a break to sort of refresh your mental pa palette and get a, a, a new perspective on things. Friends and new contacts could provide useful tips and their feedback will be valuable and informative. Uh, you'll be in the mood to speculate on various possibilities, but you are keeping a very serious eye fixed on the knotty details of everyday life. And uh, that's the to-do list. That could be health matters as well. And uh, you're backing everything up with practical groundwork. From the end of the month, uh, making fresh connections may help you to achieve your goals, particularly over the subsequent month. Now, the new moon on the first in Pisces mixes well with Jupiter and Pluto, who are currently at odds with each other. And so for you, Gemini, despite the general tendency to take things too personally, uh, to, to hang on too tightly regarding... Uh, you know, the picture that you had for how this ambition could be achieved or this aim could be uh, uh, obtained. Um, if you were to maybe shift your position a little, uh, let go of something, you could end up gaining more. Uh, you might have to let go of something in, a, in order to preserve something else of more value to you. Um, the new moon um, <clears throat> in this area here puts a strong focus on you moving forwards with your goals and ambitions so you need to take the initiative related to career or business interests but be flexible now and and you can do that there's no problem with that uh, you you could do a master class in flexibility <laughs> Gemini now until the 21st the solar energy uh, theme means that you'll be taking your targets your overall direction uh, more seriously and you'll be also probably more aware of the rules and regulations and the sort of narrow-mindedness really imposed by officials, parents, red tape um, and anyone uh, to whom you have responsibility or anything to whom to which you have responsibility. The overall idea is to project a good image and to be consistent and responsible as you go forwards. Uh, reputation or how you're packaging something could also be strongly emphasized. Uh, until the 18th, your mind may be more focused on those from a distance, uh, travel, transport, schedules, uh, travel schedules, that kind of thing, or uh, unfamiliar, any other kind of unfamiliar environment. You tend to be more aware that the distant horizon holds fresh potential. You could be taking advice from someone as well who's got an expertise and, uh, you know, that's part of the that's a very sort of uh, critical piece of the puzzle for you. This could be a good time to um, think in bright new colours and a plan may be forming in your mind. I mean, when isn't there a plan forming in your mind? Uh, but there may be a break uh, or a breath of fresh air due to you taking a break. Uh, and um, contacting those further afield, reaching out f further and exchanging with people, you know, outside of your familiar stamping ground or, or indeed um, um, exchanges with a teacher, guide uh, or those with uh, specialist knowledge, uh, even who know, know about the legalities of things, are you looking into that? Uh, but Mercury, your ruling planet, enjoys this very communicative sector and uh, that this sector also emphasises higher learning, spirituality, 
uh, also the public pu publications and, and broadcasting, that kind of thing. Another way this transit might work is that you take the opportunity to beat the drum on something, put the word out there, make it known what you're looking for, or make it known what you can provide uh, for others. So be the guide or the guided, be the informer or the informed. From the 18th, uh, discussions, correspondence, ideas may revolve around short-term plans or longer-term considerations like which direction you're going to take from here in life, career, a new project, um, an enterprise. Uh, any, anybody who may facilitate your aims could be strongly highlighted and you will be dialoguing with such people. And you may find your goals and schemes being validated by them, by their feedback or rejected, in fact. Um, so you just get a clearer, you know, it just sharpens your, 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 your mental blade, you know. And uh, keep your ear to the ground though, be alert to what's new on the block. And you'll be putting mental effort into expressing yourself to convey it to the best of your ability um, in order to get the result back that you desire. Vehicles, travel, transport, equipment, uh, communications equipment, that could all, all be on your mind as well. And you could be having conversations about that kind of thing too. From the 21st, it's a proactive phase when friendships, contacts new and old, more involvement within a community or a group of uh, people with a certain interest in common could be a key feature. It's not what you know, it's not what you know, but who, who you know that will be uh, useful to you. It's a future orientated phase when you may be thinking very much about the future and um, uh, perhaps achieving an aim which has been gathering dust in the corner for quite a while. Networking uh, is also um, well highlighted there. Mercury does line up with Neptune from the 20th, so mm, that could uh, mean mixed messages, uncertainty, uh, just fuzzy thinking, and uh, you, you, you struggle to get clarity on certain things. Deception could be a feature here too, so don't work yourself into a worried or over-optimistic over state about nothing at all. Uh, this can also be the result of outside factors which kind of are confusing, vague, or, 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 or they sedate you in some way or another. Um, so avoid conflating too many options or ideas and just keep your eye on the bouncing ball. Venus uh, completes her mega transit of Capricorn on the 6th. This is a place of emotional depth for you and you can really move others with Venus here. You can really touch the, their hearts. Uh, great for the romantics and artists among you. Uh, Venus could manifest as an influence which might help you out materially too though uh, in, in um, that sort of um, kind of more worldly way and uh, also you know she ha can help you out emotionally but she can help you out materially in major and minor ways so you might there might be some kind of breakthrough financially or to do with property uh, which uh, puts you on a better footing so it's a good time for you to acquire uh, seek acquire and use resources uh, to benefit your material uh, situation and um, be acting jointly with others as well. They could be very helpful teaming up together uh, with a common interest, a common sort of passion, a common drive towards this one uh, outcome. Negotiations or in fact deeper connections with another w could be beneficial here. And some of you feel like shifting into more commitment in a material sense but also um, emotionally depending on your natal chart and your inability to create what you want and your just your situation um, uh, at the moment. A relationship could revolve around um, shared finances, a shared space, property, possessions and things can be ironed out to mutual advantage. Venus is a great balancer so really you know if you need that which you have got a lot of sort of maybe sometimes quite heavy um, uh, practical uh, stuff to organize at the moment Gemini this is a real plus for you so you know um, use this vibration of Venus in this area well um, the presence of Pluto uh, in this same sector Pluto is going to be here till 2025 so this is kind of just a kind of a general drumbeat going on in the background all the time um, can mean that affairs of the heart may have to be kept secret or certain aspects 
have to be kept secret. There could be some inner turmoil around this at times. It depends on where the degree of Pluto is in relation to your natal chart, of course. Pluto demands that you question uh, what someone or something means to you because this is deepening your sense of what something's worth and you getting to the bottom, uh, your own bottom line, actually, of, about what you value the most in relationships, but also in um, jointly acting with others on something. Pluto demands uh, that you do this uh, deeper questioning, that you, in fact, at sometimes uh, confront yourself unflinchingly, ouch, um, about what you are really about where you're coming from, what you really need, and what you've got to let go of. Because Pluto is about death and rebirth. Pluto has no truck with anything superficial. And uh, during this long transit, you'll learn how to pick yourself up, dust yourself off, and start all over again. And then you can rise, phoenix-like, from the ashes emotionally or materially or both from the old way. Now this is a favourable time for you to have a heart-to-heart -heart talk with someone to really put your cards on the table about something if it's to do with your emotional um, you know life or in fact your material life, property, finances etc. This harmonising influence may bring about a shift or a new chapter in a relationship whether that's a business one like a contract or an agreement, or indeed, you know, in, in, in your love life. Uh, but this transit can also mean goodies are in the pipeline for you, and you can benefit through the finances, resources, or through, you know, applying to, uh, to an outside agency for something. Uh, Venus here can really help, and um, <clears throat> your whole psyche, psyche, actually, it could be evolving and regenerating through relationships, certain key critical relationships during this time. Now Saturn, I've mentioned, Saturn is transiting a service-orientated area, service area of your solar chart until the end of the year, but it's this stitch in time saves nine part two. So keeping ahead of the game with the practical side of chores and also with health would be smart. Uh, generally though it does mean harder work uh, from you and more assistance uh, to others on a regular basis uh, just to be keeping things ticking over with general maintenance and repairs. It, it could also, uh, and also, you know, for working very hard to add new strings to your boat, your skill set. This is very important here with, with this transit of Saturn which comes around once every 29 years. Um, so service providers, um, co-workers or even certain equipment or techniques may pre present obstacles or cramp your style in some way. You know, oh, why doesn't this damn thing work? You know, or how can I make this work? Which button do I press? Which lever do I push? And um, you've got to learn all that stuff. And even certain equipment, you know, it, uh, um, so, somebody I knew used to call it the um, malevolence of the inanimate object. <laughs> And um, yeah, I mean, you might be kind of feeling that at the moment in, in some situations, but these challenges can make you more savvy and can push you into wiser cho choices in the future. And also you've added to your skill set too. Uh, from the sixth, your understanding could expand through a relationship which introduces you to new dimensions outside of your everyday uh, box. And such a relationship could re revolve around a faraway place or you're bonding with somebody um, who is at quite a distance from you, or it's uh, to do with bonding with somebody in an academic or advice giving environment. This person's, you know, you, you admire them for their expertise and uh, could be a teacher. And uh, you're more likely to connect with knowledge, um, information, um, which uh, balances out things for you and teaches you stuff, uh, helps you get the bigger picture and you yourself could be valued or admired for your knowledge, your expertise, your advice and guidance. And this could be a good time for you, Gemini, to be putting the word out about what you want, what you're after, or what you can, um, uh, what you, what you can deliver uh, yourself. Um, but you and someone could team up and launch into a joint project which may involve travel 
um, or information sharing. Now until July, uh, Mars is in a more spontaneous and for some romantic area of your solar chart and you'll be in the mood to take a chance, take a chance on love or a gamble or speculate in other sorts of ways. You really get your creative, he'll really get your creative juices flowing, um, Mars here. Um, don't, you know, risk what you can't afford to lose, but Mars, uh, because Mars tends to be hasty, uh, it's just better to kind of sleep on something before you make a decision. But there could be occasions when you um, feel very empowered um, as you are using your, 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 in your creative stream, you're in your creative flow, um, you're on to something, uh, you're really on a kind of a roll, your competitive side uh, should come to the fore too. Uh, so whatever's going on, you could feel more uh, in your power, more aligned, more in touch with your wild child within. And uh, equally, you could be uh, very busy related to two children, <laughs> young people, animals uh, in your life. Overall, this is a time for you to get active with any project that, any kind of project that you really enjoy, you get something out of, and which helps you to feel good. It's great for the entrepreneurs and creatives among you. Take advantage of Jupiter um, in your area of the piggy bank. This is also another plus for you. That's going to be there until July, Gemini, in a material sense. Um, and uh, this area is also to do with property matters and uh, general possessions and, you know, all the clutter and the paraphernalia that we sort of lug around through our lives. And uh, this uh, Jupiter uh, transit will help you to expand um, into fresh territories. Uh, such decisions that you make could teach you a great deal and even turn out to be lucrative down the line. So something might just drop into your lap out of the blue and then it's of course up to you to make the decision because on the face of it, it doesn't look like it's going to turn into anything much or lucrative but hey, you know, it sounds kind of interesting and I mean you're well up for that. So on another level Jupiter here will um, help you decide what is of the highest priority. So maybe if more than one offer comes your way, or one option or one alternative, you, Gemini, have got to weigh up what is really touching the deeper part. Uh, you know, you have to evaluate, you have to sound out, you have to suss, um, and then you go for that one. Um, Jupiter here is going to help you to think more positively about basic uh, stuff, money, property, possessions, uh, but also your talents and, um, you know, adding to that skill set so that you get a talent which is natural, <coughs> really working for you, excuse me. <coughs> now others are more likely to show your appreci their appreciation of your talents and your skills if you've worked a talent up into a, a good skill, uh, which is... Um, marketable and also appreciation of, of, of your property, your possessions uh, and um, or your experience, you know, or just you, you know, um, of course. Uh, Geminians um, uh, need to um, start taking more seriously and start working more seriously with talents. In the last couple of days of the month, the new moon in Aries lines up with Uranus, Pluto and uh, Jupiter and you may feel the need to bust out of whatever you think has been holding you back. So take the initiative to mix with new people and pick little nuggets of information, um, pe people who can really help you get the ball rolling. And uh, that's it for um, March. If you know your rising sign or your moon sign, listen to those forecasts on here. And if you want to know, um, you want to read the article about the month and know the dates, then go to uh, dianagarland.com and I will see you the next time.